Hey guys, it's Candice. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I'm back. Um, some of you may know the ones that follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I recently had braids. I took my braids out uh, about two weeks ago. I had them in for six weeks. Um, my intention with the braids was that I wanted my hair to grow or whatever, but I didn't see a lot of growth with the braids. In fact, the, gray, the braids actually pulled out um, a piece of my edges from the tension, so I don't think I'll be having braids anytime soon. But that's just a little background just to get you caught up. And today, I wanted to tell you about the recent products that I have been using and have been loving somewhat. So um, if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, so for starters, I am still a product junkie, so um, yeah, I basically went out, my hair needed some moisture, and just, I need to be able to wash my hair again, so I went out and bought some stuff, and for starters, the first thing I bought was a new shampoo and conditioner, and uh, that would be the Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Mor Morocco line. <laughs> And I use the Sulfate Free Moisture and Shine Shampoo. <clears throat> it claims to hydrate and detangles, and I'm going to say yes, 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 it does. My hair felt very moisturized, and it does a great job of detangling, so much so that I was able to detangle with my fingers alone, and I just love that. So this might be a staple in my routine. Okay, now after that, I followed it up with the Intense Conditioning Treatment, and it claims to strengthen, imparts moisture, and prevents hair breakage. Now, this I have a problem with. Um, while this gives my hair a lot of moisture and I'm able to detangle it very well, this does the complete opposite. It's like it undoes all of the goodness that was done to my hair in the first place. And I feel like it's really dumb. Um, now, as far as conditioning, it may do that. But I feel like at the end of the day, a conditioner is supposed to soften your hair and supposed to make it more manageable. And I personally don't believe that this product does that. Um, and this is not what I really need for my hair because I don't really get a lot of breakage unless I'm not taking care of it. And I do take care of my hair. So this is a winner, this not so much. Um, moving right along. Okay. A couple of you noticed my new twist outs um, on Instagram. By the way, follow me, LDB blog. And the product I have been using, oh my gosh, this is like a miracle product for my twist outs is the African Pride Shea Butter Miracle Moisture Intense Bouncy Curls Pudding this bad boy right here it costs $5.49 in the beauty supply store and oh my gosh this is like a miracle in a jar um basically it gives definition but it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy or stiff your hair is bouncy um it, it moves it's just vibrant it has shine it's just all of that in a bag of chips so, um, I definitely love this. It says it's for mixed textures, curly, wavy, kinky, curly, and transitioners. And I have to agree, um, because I have very coily, kinky hair, and it works on my hair. So, if you're anything other than that, it should work on you. Um, again, it has shea butter in it, um, different oils, soybean oil, vegetable oil, argan oil. It's, it's really a great product. So, if you're looking for a new twisting um agent for your hair i would definitely check this out <clears throat> now as far as the thing that gives my twist outs the look um factor i have been blow drying my hair i know heat is bad right yeah mm -hmm. so i've been blow drying my hair before i twist out just to give my hair um its full stretch potential just to add some more length and um i have i haven't blow dried my hair in like two years but i just wanted to just give it a shot so i gave it a shot i went out and i purchased a blow dryer 
it is the Con Air uh, Cord Keeper 1875 Blow Dryer. It has a concentrator, um, which I use, and it has a diffuser. And the concentrator works very, very well. It keeps the hair um, cool, and it, it really ma manages the heat and where it's flowing to. And before I use this, <clears throat> I always use a heat protectant, and I've been using two at the moment. Um, Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. And I've been following it up with this Tai Chi Black uh, Flat Iron Spray with Keratin Heat Protectant. So... Just, you know, just to make sure my hair is okay. And, oh, now another favorite of mine, which I have just, I don't know why I'm so late on this train, is coconut oil. Yes, coconut oil. Um, let me get it for you. I had some raw coconut oil. It's been spilling all over the place because I've just been clumsy. But um, it comes in this can, it comes in a solid form, but once it's at room temperature, it liquefies. And if your hair is hard and coarse, and you need moisture, and you want that shine, definitely get yourself some coconut oil. It's definitely been a help for me, and I love it, and I'm going to continue doing that. Um, I used to do a lot of castor oil, but it didn't really provide shine. It just made my hair feel really way down and thick. And I know the purpose of castor oil is to promote, you know, growth and thickness. So, you know, I, I kind of reduced that and started amping up on this. But, um, yeah, that's about it. As far as my hair today, I have my hair in some twist because I've just been really playing with my hair a lot lately. And I just wanted to keep it, you know, kind of like in a style where I don't have to mess with it for at least a week. I want to last two weeks, but I don't know how well I'm going to do with that. And, um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned in this video, please um, let me know. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at LDV Blog, And also check out my blog, which I hope to update soon, at LDVFashionFix.com. And this is Candace signing off. Later.